Friends, oh, today was a big day. It is January 20th today. Tomorrow's my birthday, by the way, <laughs> which we'll talk about in a minute. I have said this for the past couple weeks, but today was my birthday gift here in the US. I know that not everyone, actually it's like a 50-50 split in this country on what side you're on, but today just brought me such peace and hope for this country and hope for our future and hope for um, this virus and vaccines and happiness here in the United States. And I don't want to bring any more division. I don't want any of it here on my channel. I'm trying to find peace with my own family and my own friends. And I'm trying to move forward and I think our country is trying to move forward as well. And. I just had a really good mom moment this morning with, like, Jason and I sat and watched. <clears throat> it was an emotional morning. Jason and I sat and watched the inauguration this morning of President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Historic. <clears throat> and my cute girls woke up right when it was started. The older girls had to get on their calls right away, but Ashley came down and could tell that something was going on and we talked a lot about, you know, what's going on in our country. You need the viewfinder here to... I just did my makeup. Come on. They know what's going on. They know that about the election. They know about some of the basics and they're talking about it in school and they're talking about the riots and they're talking about being kind and treating others fairly and... But Ashley, um stood right behind me on at the couch and she says, Mom, I can tell <sighs> something's going on today, right? Something big is happening. As she's watching the TV and as I'm watching the TV and I just sobbed because <clears throat> I got to tell my little girl that today, <clears throat> for the first time in history, a woman is the vice president, a black woman is the vice president and I don't care. I do not care if you like her. I do not care if you voted for them. I do not care. That is a historic moment that should be honored. That tells me that I can tell my girls and myself, you can do anything. You can become vice president and hopefully someday president of this country. Again, I don't, it doesn't really matter what side of this you're on, especially in terms of that, because that alone, that alone changes history from here on out. That moment changes history. So that was enough of a birthday present for me. Jason and I joke that, oh, that's what she says. <laughs> she doesn't want anything for her birthday. I don't. I want peace, and I've never been like, 
picky like that. I've never been like not wanting a material thing, you know? I like things, I like presents, I like surprises, I, I do. And I'm getting a lot of that in our vacation that's coming up, I'm kind of holding off. <clears throat> the feeling of peace this morning was enough of a birthday gift for me and my girls, so, and my husband, who supports me. You know, I'm kind of having to bend over because my camera doesn't go up high enough. Um, this is just a little chat as we start our day. Abby and I are gonna go to Marshall's and look for underwear <laughs> for her. I forgot what I was gonna say. Maybe I'll remember later. So, I did my hair for the occasion. It was after the inauguration because I thought it started at nine. <laughs> I didn't sleep well last night because me and my very small circle of friends who are on the same political side together were texting each other at, until like one in the morning because none of us could sleep and we were so excited. So I didn't sleep well and I woke up this morning to one of those same friends texting me, I can't sleep, I'm sobbing over here, wake up, I need someone to talk to you. Luckily, I, she did that, or otherwise I would have slept through the whole thing and not seen any of it because I was pretty tired, but pretty big day. So, I'm going to put jeans on and Abby and I are going to go shopping. Maybe I'll pick something up for myself, but honestly, I really don't want anything. I'm, I'm going to buy myself a very special birthday present in Hawaii if we get to go if we get to go. <laughs> Let me go put pants on and then we'll start our day. home we went to Marshall's I got a cute little outfit for a certain special friend so I'll save that one until I can mail off my, or mail off my gift to that person little baby outfit super cute got the girls the teenagers underwear at Marshall's and then I stopped and got myself a cafe reel so now back at home Got myself a drink and my Coke. You know, gotta have a drink. And I'm gonna sit here and start to edit. I won't have, I don't think I'm gonna have a video go up on my birthday if I don't get this, today's video edited today. I have nothing left. <laughs> and I don't have any more short videos to edit either. So I might have to go digging around and find some videos to edit, but our fireplace is out again. So it's freezing cold in here. I'm gonna get a blanket, turn on Netflix, and cuddle up, because that's all I have to do for the rest of the day. Looks like everyone else is out hanging out. So you can see, dark. <laughs> no heat coming out of that. Everyone's like, will you just turn the heat on? And I was like, I think Dad can fix the fireplace tonight. I'd rather not pay for the heat, so. making my birthday cake with Ashley. Yeah, she's making like that. <laughs> a little sass. Are you a little sass right here? <laughs> what kind of a cake did I want? Strawberry cake. I wanted a strawberry cake, right? Mm -hmm. With strawberry frosting? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I should. So, um, Abby, can you do the three little round ones? And then, not sure how to decorate it, but we'll get to that point soon. Okay, 
Okay, I've done something I haven't done in years. <laughs> Ashley is sick. She just came in, told me she had a headache to the point where she felt like she was gonna get sick. I think she doesn't drink enough, but it's also really cold in here. And I think a combination of kind of hanging out in a cold house, watching TV, because she doesn't want to go outside because she's so cold. Alexa, off. Sorry if your <laughs> device is all turned on. Chelsea's cooking hash browns. But um, I think a combination of all that for Ashley gave her a headache. But it's freezing cold in here. It's 58 degrees and I don't want my kids to be cold. You know, in the past I've, I've said that, you know, it's not a big deal because I'm the only one home alone. And so like during the day and I don't mind the cold and I come in here to my room and I get a blanket and I put it in my lap. <laughs> It's all fine, but with them home, I just feel bad today without the fireplace working. And they are all home. It's like they're half day. And so they're all here and they're freezing. So we turn the heat on. That hasn't happened for years. So hopefully uh, it warms up in here pretty quick. And I have a battery dead and I'm editing this and crying all over again. <laughs> so, all right. So Jason and I just enjoyed a dinner Nice one. By ourselves tonight, because everyone kind of ate. Like, well, Kaylee, I haven't even eaten, so, you know, she'll come down and eat on her own time. But any thoughts on today? I worked. This morning? Oh. What happened today? Oh, yeah, it was nice. I, it was peaceful, which is good. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect that. Uh, you didn't expect that? I thought there would be some something to happen. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it's a democracy. It's how it works. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we had a nice regular speech by a president. You don't know, just I guess you'd say boring, <laughs> or you could say it's uplifting because it's not divisive and everything. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, Abby made my birthday cake. It's here in the fridge. She's got it dirty frosted. Trained my daughter well. So let me show you real quick. So she's got it. With an outside frosting and the layers of frosting and we will decorate it tomorrow and join us tomorrow <laughs> anyway we're gonna head to bed I'm not going to bed I gotta know we're gonna head to get the kids in bed is what I meant to say I mean it's seven o'clock I wish we could go to bed and actually like go to sleep but I'd wake up at two in the morning and yeah no, be awake for the day exercise and Okay, battery flashing. We will see you guys next time. Hit the bell, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Yep. Night, guys. Chelsea, do you want this? Oh. There she goes. She's fine. Move. Go, go, go.